فاتحة السلام عليكم السلام عليكم السلام والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد الله سيد الله رسول مدد يا رسول مدد يا صلاة أصحاب رسول مدد يا مشاهد الدستور وأنا إن شاء الله كأزاء صلى الله عليه وسلم الله الحكام من الطريقة الصحبة والخير في الجميع بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أحسن تحمل شيء أنه هو خير تكره بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أول من شطار جم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عسى أن تكره شيء وهو خير لكم صدق الله العظيم الله عز وجل قرآن عظيم شان الله يقول يقول Allah Almighty commands in the Holy Quran. There are certain things which may appear which you do not like. And you may think about these things that they may be bad. However, there may be goodness and benefit and blessing in them. Higher than others, or they on the other side, there may be things about which you think that they are good, but they turn out to be bad. This is what Allah Almighty says. Allah Azza wa Jalla, insanın istediği değil de kendi istediğini yapar. Allah Almighty does as He likes. He does not do. As people expect him to do, he does as he likes. And we must know that there is a blessing and goodness in everything. Even in events or situations which we may not like. There may be certain things about ourselves, about our family, or about the world which we do not like. And those things which we do not like actually appear to us as if they were bad. However, there is goodness in that too. Allah Azza wa Jalla'nın takdir ettiği şeylere İtiraz etmemek lazım. Therefore, we must not object what Allah Almighty has has determined by His will. Kendi aklından kastarsan her şey ters gider. And if you were to compare things to your own thinking, and if things would go the way you think, according to your own mind, then everything would go wrong. Because as humans we only have a limited sight and we only have a limited understanding of how things are and there may, may be certain things which we desire and then we're prevented from achieving them and people then tend to criticize on a, and object Allah Almighty's will. However, it is through Allah Almighty's will that you have been prevented and actually it is through that prevention that you have been protected from a major badness and that actually from being prevented from this you're receiving a goodness and a blessing. Even in those things which we may desire and we are prevented from obtaining there is a blessing because this prevention may be the means for us to be protected from a major calamity. Allah Therefore, we must trust in Allah Almighty, and it is the characteristic of a believer to trust in His Lord's will. It is the characteristic 
and the virtue of those who believe to trust in Allah Almighty in everything. It is the characteristic of those who follow the tariqah to trust Allah Almighty in everything. There are certain levels and degrees of being a Muslim. Everyone becomes a Muslim once he says the Kalime Shahada. And as long as one does not abandon Islam, one continues to be a Muslim after having spoken the Shahada. But there are certain stations and degrees for faith, and there are certain levels of faith. Because after accepting Islam, there are certain levels of faith one may achieve. There are those who have the who have the weakest level of faith. And there are those who have obtained and reached the highest stations of faith, Iman. You becoming a Muslim does not mean that everything happens according to your will now. Or you becoming a Muslim does not mean that you no longer need to surrender to Allah Almighty's will and things happen the way you expect them to happen. Those who object, those who criticize events and therefore Allah Almighty's will are the ones who are at the lowest station of faith. Those who criticize, object and come up and rebel against Allah Almighty's will even though they are Muslims they are at the levels at the lowest station of faith and by criticizing and objecting they are harming and oppressing themselves those who have faith however strong faith they are the ones who trust Allah Almighty Allah those who have faith say this is what Allah Almighty has willed and this is what Allah Almighty has decreed and we accept it there must be goodness in it they say and as believers with strong faith we must believe in the will and the goodness in everything as Allah Almighty decrees things to happen in life there's nothing that goes in vain and our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him described the believer the mu'min as the one who obtains and sees and benefits from every situation whether it's good times or bad times or difficult times a believer is not affected by something being good or something being bad because the believer sees and recognizes the goodness in everything and therefore the believer in every situation reaps the rewards and blessings of Allah Almighty therefore we must become tho be those who believe and trust in Allah Almighty and who do not object Allah Almighty's will so do not let yourself just be influenced by the various states this world may undergo because there may be good times and bad times and the awliya Allah 
the friends of Allah Almighty, the saints, they have described it so beautifully. And they say, let us see what Allah Almighty has decreed and willed, and whatever He Almighty has willed to happen, there is beauty and goodness in it, they said. And this statement is a beautiful statement for the believers. And as believers, we must keep this statement in our minds and in our hearts and be aware that everything happens by the will of Allah Almighty and there is goodness in whatever He Almighty does. There is goodness all in, in those things too which may appear bad. Don't lament the situations in this world. Don't object or criticize the states of this world. Don't be sad about who has won or who has lost. Those who win and will always win are the believers. May Allah Almighty strengthen our faith, therefore. And may Allah Almighty protect us from having weak faith, but grant us strong faith. Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, Allah, All